Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome you to this important webinar where our private sector US colleagues are going to introduce an action guide complementing the disaster resilience scorecard for cities. As co-chair of the UNDRR Arise Private Sector Alliance for Disaster Resilient Societies, I congratulate all parties, and in particular Arise US, for their efforts to make the scorecard action guide a reality. This guide helps to renew and accelerate action for delivering on the Sendai framework's promise to prevent the creation of new risk and reduce existing risk while continuously investing in resilience. The action guide on how to create a prioritized action plan and prepare projects as a complement to the disaster resilience scorecard for cities is the result of contributions from the Arise US network in collaboration with the UNDRR <clears throat> and the Making Cities Resilience 2030 initiative. Building resilience requires an all of society approach. At the local level, for example, cities need to address weaknesses or add strength in various systems like infrastructure, health, welfare, education, social, economic, and environmental. Each system has different owners, interests, stakeholders, and timelines, making it challenging to man manage technical requirements and critical pathways. As a first step, cities can better understand these systems thanks to the UNDRR Disaster Resilience Scorecard for Cities. On the context, actors and interactions are understood. A second step is needed. The second step is how to prioritize the most needed actions and decide how best to move forward. In today's webinar, you will be introduced to the Scorecard Action Guide. The presenters will share more details on the methodology and how to do this thing using a framework that priori prioritizes action using data from the scorecard assessment. I would like to underline that this action guide was built considering feedback from local governments and stakeholders. Engaging the private sector and other stakeholders is crucial to implement the calls from the midterm review of the Sendai framework. The work of ARISE in collaboration with the public sector and other stakeholders helps to mainstream disaster risk reduction into the strategies, work plans, and on the ground action across four focus areas of SMEs, infrastructure, finance, and insurance, in addition to the early warnings for all initiative that UNDRR co-leads. The midterm review of the Sendai framework calls for the global community, including local governments and the private sector, to enhance efforts to scale up disaster risk reduction financing instruments and investment in disaster risk reduction, to improve mechanisms and formats for risk information, sharing to ensure its use in decision making in all sectors and encourage ARISE members to work in public private partnership and provide innovative solutions where possible, and to strengthen comprehensive disaster risk governance by including business and professional associations, private sector and financing institutions, among others, from use to science to groups most at risk, and encourage ARISE to continue engaging and collaborating with states and stakeholder groups. This action guide is an excellent example of how we can start to act on the results of the review and accelerate our work in building resilience. We cannot hope to realize the Sendai framework and SDGs without all of society. Let me reiterate the importance of the MCR 2030 and the RISE initiatives and the collaboration between them because they assert UNDRR's commitment to working with all stakeholders with a think resilience approach. With that, I would like to give back the microphone to the moderator, wishing everybody a successful and intense meeting today. Thank you.